In today's wrap-up, opposition party leader and business tycoon Gagik Tsarukyan's house has been raided by security officials, and 397 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed. Opposition party leader and business magnate Gagik Tsarukyan's house was raided by National Security Service officers on Sunday. He was also later summoned to the NSS building and was interrogated for eight hours. Although there has been no indictment, a number of allegations were levied against Tsarukyan, including accusations of vote buying during the 2017 parliamentary elections by members of Tsarukyan's prosperous Armenia party. On top of this, financial irregularities totaling around $60 million related to two casinos owned by Tsarukyan were also raised, and also the illegal selling of community land in the village of Arinj to a Tsarukyan-owned company. Tsarukyan, whose party holds 25 seats in Armenia's 132-member parliament, denied the allegations and denounced what he called political persecution against him. His supporters gathered outside the NSS building as he was being interrogated, calling for his release and the resignation of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Around 100 protesters were detained for flouting an emergency state ban on demonstrations. Spokesman of the Prime Minister, Manek Evrokyan, characterized Tsarukyan's call to protest as a last-ditch attempt due to looming charges of corruption and tax evasion. As Tsarukyan is a sitting member of parliament, he cannot be prosecuted, although reports suggest that the National Assembly is now moving to lift Tsarukyan's immunity in this developing feud between the ruling party and Armenia's largest opposition party. 397 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in Armenia, raising the total number of cases to 17,064. 62 more recoveries were also reported and 16 more deaths, raising the death toll to 285. Over the weekend, on Saturday 13th, a record-high 723 new cases were confirmed. However, Health Minister Arsen Torosyan assured the public that the health system is still managing to cope with the high rate of new cases. He added that the wide majority of people testing positive do not even need to be hospitalized and are asymptomatic or suffering mild symptoms. In other news, a team of French doctors arrived in Yerevan on Sunday. They will now join the fight against the pandemic in Armenia's hospitals and will stay for a period of 10 days. Sivonets Markdovich wrote a piece about the confusion around Armenia's hospital capacity and the government's problem with public communication. Recently, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan stated that due to the rise in new cases, hospitals were on the verge of becoming overwhelmed, adding that individuals had died due to a lack of ICU beds. However, very soon after, Health Minister Arsen Torosyan stated that 350 more beds were going to be made available to COVID-19 patients. These sudden changes were given without much explanation, raising the issue of a consistent problem the Armenian government has with public communication. And finally, Sivonet spoke to Mariam, a victim of domestic violence, who left her husband to find a shelter. The situation of Mariam and people like her was significantly worsened during the nationwide lockdown. According to the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Women and the Women's Support Centre, in the last couple of months, the number of calls reporting domestic violence has increased by 30%. These phenomena can be underreported in Armenia, where family issues are considered a supremely private matter.